You don't like even calling it the travel ban. I don't like saying ban because I think the problem is a lot of people that don't educate themselves fully on what's going on. We're not trying to ban anybody. We're trying to take a little pause here and say who exactly is coming in the country. And they might be Muslim majority countries, but they're not the countries with the most percentage of Muslims. All it is is we know that in the United States, a lot of our immigration policies need some work. So we want to look at it. We want to examine ourselves the, the during problem, the 90s. The problem, I have two problems with this. One is we all know the history of President Trump's pronouncements yeah. about this. It began as a Muslim ban. Yes. He wanted all Muslims banned from a America. Total and complete which I, I thought well, at the time Muslims. was ridiculous. It, it, it's it a ridiculous, ridiculous statement. What he's basically about is trying to keep America safe, right? He, not just America, it, but America and our allies. Right. And this, what, what this travel ban, from a military point of view, no one knows better than you, you're a former SEAL Team 6 guy. Does it make sense to you where we now are? The Supreme Court has basically said, yes, you can have this until we debate this fully in October. Does it make sense to you what Trump is now trying to do with these six countries? It does. It makes, it makes sense to me because, like I said, he's it, not like a, the majority aren't going to be affected. People that have a bona fide interest, say a family member going to a university with a job offer, they're going to get in. We're just looking a little bit, we're just scrutinizing it a little bit more. I and think. The, the problem with these countries is that most of them don't have proper They embassies. can hardly screen themselves. They don't have proper security. Exactly they can't right. screen. So when they leave these countries, no one's really sure who they are well, or what their look, intentions may be. Look at Syria. They had 10,000 blank passports when ISIS uh, was rolling through there and the ability to make them. And they don't lie to us a lot. They admitted they're going <clears> to <throat> excuse me, use our immigration system to put jihadis through. And, and even if it's one in a hundred, one in a thousand, that's enough. We've yeah. seen it right here. Except the problem in America is mainly from homegrown terrorism, not from people coming from these countries. Well, that's true. But that, I mean, the that... problem with Syria is that, as we've seen, it's an absolute hellhole. And why wouldn't be people be trying, trying to, to get, get out of there, out? too? But uh, yeah, and, and I, I, I'm, I, I can only sympathize with the mm -hmm. refugees. It's a horrible place to be a war torn country. Uh, I would love to help them all out, too. But when the enemy ha and they've said before, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, who's in um, Guantanamo Bay right now said he's going to use this until we get enough brothers in the street to bring jihad and yeah. blood to the streets. We've got to take him at their word. But the other thing is, of course, does it provide a big propaganda coup? Oh, it does. It, 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 it's, it's, again, you know, I don't have the answer. They're trying to keep us out. Let's fight back. They, um, and they are. They're, they're going to totally use it against us. Like I said, I wish more people were able to get more educated on what we're trying to do. Donald Trump, to answer your question, Pierce, mm -hmm. is he has a big heart. And sometimes he speaks a little loosely, mm -hmm. but he's just trying to protect. He's trying I, to protect.